All right, you can see my uh, Gillette Labs heated razor is charged up and ready to go. It's been charging for over an hour, so it's time for the live shave. I'm just gonna compare it to my Gillette Pro Glide Power, which is my favorite razor of all time. They're both five blade razors. So the Gillette Labs heated razor is not a power razor, it's just heated. So we'll see if there's a difference. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It says if you hold the power button down, it can change the uh, temp. Well, I imagine orange is not as hot and red is hotter. So I imagine you would want to go slow with this razor to give the heat a chance to take effect. Starting to feel the heat on my cheek. This uh, blade definitely flips back, so it's hard to get any torque on it or really push down against your skin. Just go real slow. Try to let that heat do its work. Make sure that the heat just opens up those pores to get the hair out easier. It's definitely not leaving any stubble behind on my neck. Just going slow, letting that heat do all the work. It's really completely plain free really really picking up all the really really is the most comfortable shave i've ever had don't know if it's worth that much money but once you pay it once you just have to replace the blades i would assume Really try and go slow here, pick every, really not much stubble left over as much as I usually, it's definitely getting a, the most closest shave I've ever had, so. It's not burning my skin or anything, so. It's really trying to just go slow and let that heat do the work. So I'm used to shaving really fast. chin and still got the five blades so if you want to go back over it quicker but I really it's as close as a shave as you can get very comfortable the heat really loosens everything up as you go if you just take your time it's definitely the closest best shave I've ever had with a razor so I'll go ahead and put it back on its stand to keep charging.